What is up? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. I want to thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this learning. That's enough talking. Let's get our learn on, shall we? Okay, so today we're talking about composite transformations. First off, let's look at that combination of two words, composite transformations, okay? It's essentially meaning it's composed of multiple transformations. So we're doing more than one transformation. It can be a translation, a rotation, a reflection. Um, we could do any of those um, back to back. It could be two or more of those. So you're really just composing transformations. That's what composite transformation means. It sounds fancier than it really is. It's really just doing multiple transformations, okay? And a lot of times you can do multiple transformations and then you could have just been like, oh, I could have done this one thing and it would have been the same as doing those two or three things. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this, okay? So composite transformations. I've got an example here. We're gonna do um, two transformations. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees around the origin and then we're gonna reflect it across the X axis, okay? So really, as long as you know your translate, how to do a translation, you know how to do a reflection, you know how to do a rotation, you're gonna be fine. Just don't get confused and don't mess up early on or else it's gonna snowball and you're gonna get way off, okay? So let's look at it. We're gonna rotate 90 degrees. All right, let's take, um, let's do a whole triangle, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Let's do, let's go over two, up three. We'll do two, three. Um, we'll do four, three. And then we'll do um, four, six. Sound good? I think so, because I said it. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Be better if I had like number, like a, just send me a, a, a dry erase board with like lines on it and I'll make this so much prettier. Okay, so we want to first rotate it um, across, around the origin. So we know we're gonna rotate it here to here. If you've seen my other videos, you know I have a cheat for this, where you just put a piece of paper over it and make the dots, turn it 90 degrees, and do, you know, put the dots on there. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna actually do this, okay? So I've got my, my what I call my cheat code right here. I've got my original X's and Y's, X then Y, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip the X and Y, and then I'm gonna make my back number negative, okay? So, let's do it. Okay, so we wanna take this one, four, six. So we got four, six. We're going to flip it, so let's do it over here. Let's take all three of our coordinates. Four, six, two, three, and then four, three, okay? We're gonna rotate it clockwise. So we're gonna rotate it clockwise. Let me put that on here, clockwise. All right, so we wanna rotate it clockwise around the origin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it from this original X and Y, and I'm gonna flip my X and Y, and then I'm gonna change the sign on my X, my back number, okay? So let's start with the flip, okay? So I'm gonna flip them, six, four, three, two, three, four. And then my back number is now gonna be negative. Okay, and this is gonna help me rotate it 90 degrees this way, clockwise, just like a clock has the hand go this way, that's the way I wanna go, okay? I'm gonna do it about the origin. So now I just plot my points. I go over six, down four, I go um, over three, down two, sorry, I'd be right there. And then over three, down four. Wow, this is all jacked up. I think that's right. That looks rotated. Boom, okay, so we've rotated it. Now, I'm gonna write my coordinates down out here so I can get used to them. So we got six, negative four, and then we've got three, negative two, and then I've got three, negative four. Okay, if I had a number line, it'd be so much prettier, but I don't, so let's just kind of get over that right now. Okay, so now I'm done with my first part. Check. Now I want to reflect it across the X axis. Boom. So it's going to reflect back over here. All right, I'm going to erase this so we can see what's going on. Okay, now I've got my points over here. As long as I don't mess up, I'm good. I've cut it down, and this might as well be one problem. It's like doing multi-step equations. You knock out the first one, you're just looking at a single step equation, okay, once you get down to it. All right, so I'm gonna take these coordinates, my new coordinates, and I want to reflect them across the X axis. To do that, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but since we're reflecting across the X axis, X doesn't change. Y flips, okay, because X is king because he is the axis we are utilizing. So, we're gonna keep our X's the same. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's make some room over here. Okay, here we 
Here we go. Okay. Now, we want to go with our original. This is our now. Our now becomes our original, x, y. So what I want to do is I keep my x the same, make my y negative. So I'll pretty much make 6, negative 4. I'm going to put everything over. 6, 3, 3, and now I'm going to flip these. That negative 4 becomes a positive 4. Becomes a positive 2. Becomes a positive 4. So now I just get to plot these points. So we got go over 6, up 4. Over 3, up 2. And then over 3, up 4. Boom, boom, boom. That's flipped across that mirror line. And we just did composite transformations, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was good stuff. I feel like I've gotten so much learning on. I could just achieve anything I believe in. If you get a chance, please subscribe to this channel. I know you have a chance because you're sitting here on YouTube. You can just hit subscribe. That'd be super great. Also, check out learningbird.com. Thank you guys for sponsoring this post. Thank you for watching, and thank you for getting your learn on. Behind the back. Nailed it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch it. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. Thank <laughs> you.